Hi, this is the Viking from Nagel's Gun Shop. Uh, we're going to go over a few things we're going to be trying out today. We got our Christensen CA-10. It's a 308 rifle, uh, really well made uh, precision match rifle uh, made by Christensen Arms. It's got a nice match grade barrel. It's carbon fiber wrap for stiffness, very lightweight. Uh, also got a carbon fiber rail system, which is kind of nifty. Uh, really keeps your hand from getting too high if you're holding on to that. Unlike an aluminum rail, it's also lighter. Uh, whole gun has uh, really nice finishes that will avoid any corrosion or rust issues. Uh, also keep the gun more you know, easily lubricated than a normal uh, phosphate finish. Uh, it's got a really good trigger on it from Timney. Uh, nice and crisp and really good reset. I'm very happy about that. Uh, right now we got a little PXR on it, which is a pretty popular uh, scope for more intermediate distance shooting on things like Fox and stuff. It's illuminated so you can see it at night. It's got 30 millimeter tube, so you get lots of light through it and see really well. Uh, also, you have that ACOG right now a little later, which is a really popular scope for you know, hawk hunting or combat operations. Uh, it's self illuminated for you know, almost 20 years. It works day or night, and uh, three and a half magnification on this one, which is pretty good for the distances you'll typically be shooting at hogs. Not so much magnification that it gets in your way, but enough that you can see the target clearly and aim pretty precisely. We're also going to be shooting more day ammo today. We got some nice uh, Hornaday match ammo right here, the 155 grain open tip match. Really good stuff. Um, got the thing I'm going to be pretty happy with that. We're going to try it out. And uh, we also have some Hornaday Tap FPD, which is uh, good stuff for hog hunting, good stuff for home defense. It's got a really good bullet in it, so it can span nicely. And it's uh, very dependable. It's got that nickel case that I like. So uh, we're going to try this stuff out and see what we can do today. Okay, the uh, Timney match trigger got a really good uh, crisp trigger on it. It's got a short reset. I like that a whole lot. Okay, here we go. You can see here some uh, grips we fired using just some ball ammo to get it a little more uh, sighted in than just bore sighting. And you can see here the group we just fired with the Hornaday match ammo. It's uh, much improved grip compared to the ball stuff. Selena's ear of the gun a little bit, moving about four clicks to the right, but that's a really tight, nice group, and I'm very happy with that. I'd like to thank Hornaday for giving us this stuff. This is nice ammo. I'm very happy with it. So, let's see what else we can do. Okay, so uh, this is what we were just shooting, the Hornaday 308 155 grain open tip match ammo. It's a pretty accurate load, apparently. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, if you look at the ammo itself, you'll see that it's got you know a sealant over the primer to keep water out, and it's got a crimped and convolured bullet so that it won't set back when feeding in a proper semi-auto like that. Um, very happy with this stuff. We're also going to shoot real quick some uh, TAP for personal defense 308, and it's going to be the 155 grain load. This stuff comes in a nickel case, which helps to ease extraction and also protects the case from corrosion in case you're out in the field with it for a while and get water on it and stuff. It's also got a really nice bullet. should expand nicely in gelatin or similar things. Uh, we're going to try this out and see how it groups real quick.
okay, here we are. As you can see, top left group, not quite as good as the match stuff. Uh, it's actually a group you can see, it's not just one hole. But uh, that being said, it still did way better than the ball ammo did. And for uh, personal defense at 100 yards, I'd say that's plenty good. You can also hunt hogs with that, it would do. And it gives you a really good bullet. It's going to have nice terminal effects. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that.